Hey loves, in today's video I will be showing you how I created this emerald green and gold snakeskin nail art design. I am so excited to be trying out a new gel polish brand. This is the Vina Lisa Gel Polish in Emerald Green. I purchased it on Amazon for $6.59. I really liked the packaging of this gel polish. You can tell that they put a lot of thought into it and the bottle is so pretty. The first thing I noticed about this gel is how thick it was. Now typically gel polish is going to be thicker than regular nail polish but I found that this formula was really thick so I ended up applying three very thin layers curing each for 30 seconds to achieve maximum opacity and this is a really pretty green. To adhere my crystal to the nail, I am first applying the Gadgets Intrapod Rhinestone Glue. I am going over that glue with my Sensation Nail No Wipe Top Coat to give my polish a glossy finish and to really cement in that crystal to make sure it won't pop off. I am using a golden yellow crystal from the Swarovski size 12 colored value mix. Moving on to my index finger, again I will be applying three coats of the gel polish curing for 30 seconds each time. I purchased this Gadgets Intrapot Nail Foil Glue Duo on Amazon for $8.99. Starting at the free edge of my natural nail, I am brushing the foil glue all the way down, making sure I get the sides and tip of my nail. Then I'm going to cure for 60 seconds. I purchased the Vashin 10 Sheet Snakeskin Nail Foil Set on Amazon for $5.89. Although this was my first time using nail foil, it was quite easy to get the hang of and it was really fun. This is what my nail looks like after I went back and filled in some gaps that I missed before. If you happen to get the foil glue and foil itself somewhere on your nail that you don't want it to be, you can go in with nail polish remover and gently wipe it away. Now I am adding some gold striping tape. Striping tape is another thing that I'm still learning how to use, but I thought it made such a pretty addition to the nail art in this set. After making sure that I have the striping tape exactly where I want it, I'm going to encapsulate the striping tape as well as the nail foil with my Model 1's base coat and cure for 30 seconds. I am covering my entire nail with a layer of the Sensation Nail No Wipe Top Coat and curing for an additional 30 seconds. For my next design, I am starting off by creating a French tip.
I am applying the Gadgets Intrapot foil glue to the left side of my nail and curing for 60 seconds. I was wondering how I was going to incorporate the snakeskin print onto this nail and I thought a half and half design would be really pretty and it ended up being my favorite nail in this set. Back to the striping tape. This really solidified the fact that this nail was my favorite in this set. So simple yet so pretty. The issue that I had with the striping tape was that the ends curled up. If I use it again, I think I should encapsulate it with builder gel because it's a little thicker and maybe it'll prevent that from happening. But now I'm encapsulating my design with my base coat and curing for 30 seconds. I am applying my top coat and curing for 30 seconds. For the design on my ring finger, I will start off by doing a glitter fade. I am applying a thin layer of base coat to adhere my glitter. I am gently tapping the gold glitter onto my nail. Then I will cure for 30 seconds. I am encapsulating the glitter with base coat and curing for an additional 30 seconds. For my crystals, I'm first applying the Gadgets Intrapot Rhinestone Glue. I'm going over the glue with the Sensational No Wipe Top Coat. I am placing two green stones from the colored value mix that I used on my thumb. I also apply top coat to the underside of my nail. And I matched my pinky to my thumb. Now that my nails are done, I'm going to moisturize my cuticles with the Namskara Organic Castor Oil. Applying full cover nails with Builder Gel can be such a hassle if you don't have the proper light. I used this light for today's set and my nails came out so good and it was really easy. I have a video detailing where I purchased these products from as well as a few demonstrations to show you just how easy it is for your full covered nails to come out perfect every time. In addition to that video, I will also link below the first video I did where I applied full cover nails using Builder Gel. In that video, I will go over products, prep, application, as well as a nail design. Thank you so much for watching. All of the products that I used as well as those two videos will be available in the description. I would love it if you would leave me a comment down below telling me what you think of this nail design and until next time, bye loves!